Hey guys, it's Daydream here, back with another survival series to, uh, episode. This is going to be S episode 3, and today we're going to be doing Zero Tick Farms. Um, just a quick reminder, I do stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday on Twitch. I'll leave a link down in the description. Don't forget to follow me over there and turn on notifications so you know when I'm live. Um, but today we are going to be working on Zero Tick Farms. Pretty much, if you don't know what Zero Tick Farms are, they are really simple farms to just make something like bamboo, sugar cane, cactus, um, as you can see, these three. Whatever it is, grow much faster. Um, and that can be useful, you know, in sugar cane to get a bunch of uh, a bunch of sugar cane to make paper, so you can trade with librarian or bamboo to make something for you know use bamboo as a, as a smelting ingredient, other stuff like that, and it's going to help us in the future of this series and much uh, much other things. So let's just skip the night real quick, and then we will move on to to actually do it. So now we have finally we have skipped the night, and yeah, like I said. For trades with villagers, let's say this librarian villager is just running away from me. If we trade him 24 paper, we get an emerald. And if we have something like a zero tick sugar cane farm where we get a piece of sugar cane every however amount of seconds, then we, we will get a bunch of sugar cane really quickly to make a bunch of paper to get a bunch of emeralds. So without further ado, um, we're going to get somewhere decently far from our base, but still in render distance. So, cause these farms are typically very, very loud. So we're going to go with a decent amount of place and we'll find, we'll find a great, you know, great place of land to do this. I have found this place. It's, you know, my base is right there. You can see it over here. It's very close to my base. It's well within render distance. Um, everything in my toolbar, as you can see down here, is what you're going to need to build it. Um, you know, you need the pistons, um, five pistons and two sticky, five regular pistons, two sticky pistons. The five pistons, it's usually um, four, but I added one just for the kind of like an automated part of this. Um, you need two redstone dust. I have five for again the observer part of it which is you need one observer as well a lever a water bucket if you're using if you're doing with sugar cane if you're not doing sugar if you're doing with bamboo you don't need water and then a building block so what we're going to do we're going to build up two high and then two at this like like how i did here okay as you can see and then we're going to place one redstone torch here one redstone torch here and then one piece of redstone dust here and one piece right there. Okay, now that we've done that, what we're going to do, we're gonna use our building block and we're going to go up and we're gonna build two, just like that. On either side, either you pl place that block over there or over there. Now with that block placed, what we're going to do on this side, whichever your side is with the block, you're going to be placing a sticky piston over here, okay? Now with that sticky piston placed over there, you're going to go here and go two away. So one, two, and then the third one so you can place the other sticky piston. You're going to place a sticky piston right over here. Okay. Now with that built like that, what we're going to do is build one, two oh, on top. One, two. And then we're going to place actually three sticky pistons. I'm sorry, I said two before. We actually need three. What we're going to place is the other sticky piston right over here with a block underneath it. And then you can destroy that block and that block. And you're going to place the lever right here. Okay. Now with the lever going right over there, I usually place a block there so I can get up easily. You're going to place a piston a regular piston right over here and then one right underneath it over here and then you're going to destroy this block and we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side so we're going to place a block over a piston over here put a block over it like this and place another piston right there 
And once, now that all the pistons are set into place and it's all good, what we're going to do is turn it on and we have a zero tick farm now. Um, now what you do, you take your ingredients. Since I didn't set up the water yet, I'm going to place a piece of, we're actually going to change it to cactus. So with cactus, what we're going to do, we're gonna to have to switch this to sand. So we're gonna take away these two blocks and place two pieces of sand like this. And just to make sure you know it still is a zero tick, we do like that and as you can see, it is zero tick. So what we're gonna do is place a piece of cactus right over there and now you're gonna see after 16 times it goes back and forth, it grows a second piece. Now, you know, we can't just stand here. We want this something running in the background like we said, so when we break that piece, we want it to go into somewhere else for us, right? So what we're gonna, going to do now is make a sorting system. And also I'm going to change this back to sugarcane just for you know, my purpose. In this world, I actually do need a sugarcane, not a cactus. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna build a little place for water. We're gonna put the water right there then place the sugarcane right over there as you would normally do. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna build up one block on each side. Again, one over there. And you're gonna place this piston facing, I'm sorry. What you're gonna do, you're going to place this piston like this. Place a block right over here. Oh, I just messed up the farm <laughs> for myself. So what we're going to do is just break this block right here and uh, you, you know sometimes that happens it's totally normal to just break the block uh, you're going to just replace the sticky piston right over there and then what we're going to do is we're going to place this block right here the piston right over here and we're going to put the observer facing that way oh it's the wrong way and I need my pickaxe <laughs> We're going to be placing the piston, piston facing that way, the piston, the observer facing that way. So we're going to put it like this. And now we're, what we're going to do, we're going to fall, first of all. Okay, we're going to fall. And now what we're going to do is attempt to get back up and then place one, two, and three pieces of redstone. So now every time another piece grows, it just automatically breaks it. Obviously we made a bit of a clock right there, but once the red, the, this starts to go on, it's actually good that it made a clock. So now what we're going to do is make the storage, you know, where everything's going to go into. So you're going to place another block right over there, place this one and two, and then place a hopper like that. So now whenever this breaks, and then you're going to place a block like this over here and then build it up a little bit. So the, the sugar cane can't go anywhere else. So now after we do that, we're gonna take some fall damage when we drop. And then what we're going to do is actually we're gonna place one more block right over, <clears throat> right over here. Uh, we can actually use glass blocks so you can see it happening in real time. Um, we're gonna put a glass block right there. So it can't go anywhere else. And then what we're going to do, you're going to see it's going to start to grow. Three, two, one, and it's going to zero tick it. And as you can see, the piston breaks it. It breaks a piece of sugar cane. The sugar cane went into there. And every 16 times, it's going to just continuously go into there. And we, we just started running this. And you see a sugar cane even flew, so you would want to build this up a little more build that up a little more but as you can see we have four pieces and we have nine in our inventory let's just empty out our inventory actually let's let's turn this off for one second but as you can see it works and we did again I said we we created kind of a redstone clock over here so we're just going to ignore that uh, we're gonna ignore that because to take that down it's just not gonna not gonna work out too well so what we're gonna do is gonna place another piece of glass right there and one and then just some random block right there so it can't like actually fly everywhere <laughs> so we're gonna turn this on again and let it go 
And so far we have 16, right? So now with that running, we're, we're going to kind of move away from this, go the opposite way, and just... Right now it is 11.42 at 11.45 in three minutes. I'm going to start the recording again. That is on over there in our render distance, so it's going to continue working. At 11.43, you know, for you it's going to be a second. For me it's three minutes. I'm going to come back to recording and we're going to see that how much churn pain it has. So it's now 11.45. I was actually doing some AFK fishing while I was waiting. Let's see if we got anything good. Any books? Oh, I did actually make a chest all the way over there. So let's go check that chest, see if we got an enchantment book maybe to, to use for some, some other stuff. Nope, we just got some cod. Whatever. It is now 11.46, so I kind of procrastinated so we can see how much we got. And uh, let's see how much how much we have over here. Um, so yeah, as you can see, some stuff flew around. We have 31 over there, but I kind of want to see what we have up there. And I completely failed at placing that block. But we're going to turn this off. We're going to turn this off and then turn this off. And 62. And... 63 so we have pretty much w w if you block this whole thing off you have you get a lot of sugarcane like we left this and this sugarcane is just deactivated by that it's it's deactivated it's not letting things through that's nice but yeah there, there's there's a way to get you know we just have to move this whole entire thing down one and then it'll not you know do that like if we take that it's gonna start going down but yeah but yeah this is a really useful farm because now i can go ahead take all this sugar cane take all of this sugar cane and i can make an absurd amount of like let's see how many how much paper we can make, right? We can we just made a stack in twenty nine of paper of sugar cane up from this farm, from four minutes of it just doing its thing. We've gotten that much sugar cane, which is an absurd amount of sugar cane to just get on the fly. So that is why you know I suggest this farm to to so many piece people. When they're when they're making farms and this is why I'm so glad to, to have it in my survival series to be a hundred percent honest because now we can just turn this back on and let it do its thing and get us some sugar cane the sugar cane's getting stuck so so it's actually getting stuck somewhere it's getting stuck up there but we do have three so we can just turn this on leave it alone there can be stuff stuck over there um but yeah then again you can do this with anything you do with bamboo you can do it with cactus you can do it with a bunch of things actually all our crops have grown so i should probably look into you know shaving those off but that is going to be today's episode of the minecraft survival series this is going this is episode three zero tick farms i hope you all very much enjoyed just a quick reminder i do stream every tuesday every sunday tuesday and thursday on twitch um i'll leave a link down in the description i hope you you guys should go over there follow me because i do record these live on stream so go click on the description go in the description down there follow my twitch and um turn on notifications so you know when i'm live next i hope you guys really enjoyed let me know what you think i should do next survival series i have a few ideas but nothing 100 percent yet so let me know because i will be recording that on thursday so this video is going out on wednesday i'm going to be recording the next survival series so make sure you drop down in the comments what you want me to do next or come into my stream before i start recording and let me know what you think i should do on thursday i hope you all really very much enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one